Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into military history and strategy. If you appreciate our content, consider joining our membership to support us. Today, we're delving into the historical context of India's military strategy. A pivotal moment in this history was the 1986 Operation Falcon, a direct response to Chinese aggression in India's northeastern province of Arunachal Pradesh. General Krishnaswami Sundarji, the Indian Army chief at the time, was the mastermind behind this operation. Known for his strategic brilliance, he was instrumental in modernizing the Indian Army and implementing a strategy of proactive deterrence. His approach was not simply reactive, but instead aimed at preventing conflicts before they could even begin. Operation Falcon was a major undertaking, involving the airlift of troops, artillery and ammunition to strategic locations. The aim was clear, to counter Chinese incursions effectively and assertively. This was not a defensive measure but a calculated and proactive strategy to safeguard India's territorial integrity. Sundarji's strategy was initially met with skepticism, with critics questioning the feasibility and effectiveness of such an ambitious operation. However, the results spoke for themselves. Operation Falcon proved to be a resounding success, forcing the Chinese to retreat and effectively countering their aggressive tactics. The operation was more than just a military victory. It was a testament to Sundarji's strategic acumen and the capabilities of the Indian Army. It demonstrated the power of proactive deterrence and set a new standard for Indian military operations. This operation, while decades ago, showcased India's strategic capabilities and set the stage for future military operations. It was a turning point that shifted the narrative, transforming India's military exercises from defensive posturing to assertive capability augmentation. As we move forward in this video, we will see how this strategy has continued to shape India's military approach, from the evolution of their military exercises to the modern military acquisitions and the upcoming Gagan Shakti 2024. So, stay tuned as we navigate through India's military journey. Having established a historical context, we now turn our attention to the evolution of India's military exercises. From its early days, India's military strategy was primarily defensive. The focus was on securing its borders and maintaining internal stability. However, over the years, there has been a significant shift in this approach. The evolution of India's military exercises can be traced back to the mid-80s with Operation Falcon. Orchestrated by Indian Army Chief General Krishnaswami Sundarji, this operation was a response to Chinese aggression in India's northeastern province of Arunachal Pradesh. Sundarji adopted a strategy of proactive deterrence, airlifting troops, artillery and ammunition to strategic locations to counter Chinese incursions. This operation marked a turning point, showcasing a more assertive Indian military capability. Fast forward to today, and we see this assertiveness reflected in the upcoming Gagan Shakti war drill. The drill is a robust response to the modernization of the Pakistan Air Force and the escalating dispute with China over Arunachal Pradesh. However, Gagan Shakti is more than just a show of strength. It represents a holistic approach to war fighting strategies, integrating the Indian Army, Air Force, and Navy. The focus is not just on conventional warfare, but also on network-centric operations, including the use of swarm drones. Furthermore, the evolution of India's military exercises also reflects a shift in its defense acquisitions. The Indian Air Force's recent procurements, such as the Rafales, LCA Tijas, and missile systems, have enhanced its firepower. These acquisitions are not merely about increasing numbers, they represent a strategic shift towards modern, interoperable, and flexible platforms that enhance India's ability to respond to different scenarios. As we can see, India's military strategy has significantly evolved over the years, adapting to new challenges and threats. From defensive posturing, India has moved towards assertive capability augmentation, showcasing its readiness to confront any adversarial threat head-on. Now, let's delve into the specifics of the upcoming Gagan Shakti 2024 war drill. Gagan Shakti 2024 is more than a mere military exercise. It's a bold testament to India's readiness to face the challenges of modern warfare. Set against the backdrop of escalating tensions with both China and Pakistan, this drill aims to test the Indian Air Force's IAF capability to wage war on two fronts simultaneously. One of the unique aspects of Gagan Shakti 2024 is the extensive activation of India's air fleet. This means that a significant portion of the IAF's aircraft will take to the skies, 
demonstrating India's ability to mobilize its air assets rapidly and effectively. From fighter jets to transport planes, the sky will be a tableau of India's aerial might. But Gagan Shakti 2024 isn't solely an air show, it's an integrated warfighting strategy involving both the Indian Army and Navy. The goal is to test and showcase India's ability to coordinate between different branches of its armed forces, creating a united front against potential adversaries. This integrated approach is a key component of modern military operations, reflecting the complexity and diversity of potential conflict scenarios. Another highlight of Gagan Shakti 2024 is the focus on network-centric operations. The digital age has transformed warfare, with information and communication technologies playing a pivotal role. Network-centric operations aim to leverage these technologies to enhance the speed and efficiency of military operations. It's about harnessing the power of information to gain the upper hand on the battlefield. And let's not overlook the addition of swarm drones to the exercise. These unmanned aerial vehicles have been garnering attention for their potential to revolutionize warfare. Capable of carrying out coordinated attacks or surveillance missions, swarm drones offer a glimpse into the future of combat. Their inclusion in Gagan Shakti 2024 underscores India's commitment to staying at the forefront of military innovation. Gagan Shakti 2024 represents a significant milestone in India's military readiness and strategic capabilities. This drill is more than a show of force, it's a clear message to the world that India is prepared to defend its sovereignty and protect its people, no matter what challenges lie ahead. Of course such a large-scale exercise would not be possible without substantial military hardware. The backbone of any military power lies in its hardware, and India has been making significant strides in this regard. Recent acquisitions have seen the Indian Air Force's firepower getting a considerable boost. Let's take a look at some of these. The Rafale fighter jets, a product of French aviation expertise, have made a significant impact. Known for their cutting-edge avionics, exceptional agility, and impressive firepower, these twin-engine multi-role fighters are a game-changer. They enhance India's air superiority and deep strike capability, an essential factor in the upcoming Gagan Shakti 2024 war drill. Next in line is the LCA Tejas, an Indian creation that demonstrates the country's prowess in indigenous defense technology. This single-engine, fourth-generation multi-role light fighter is a testament to India's self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Its integration into the Indian Air Force not only bolsters the country's air defense capabilities, but also reflects a significant step towards reducing dependence on foreign military technology. Additionally, the inclusion of advanced missile systems further fortifies India's defense capabilities. These systems offer a multi-tiered approach to defense, allowing for a comprehensive and layered protection against different types of air threats. With their precision strike ability, these missile systems will play a crucial role in the Gagan Shakti 2024 war drill. But it's not just about acquiring new hardware. It's also about how effectively these are incorporated into the military strategy. The upcoming Gagan Shakti 2024 war drill will be a testament to this, as it will involve the strategic use of these acquisitions in network-centric operations and integrated warfighting strategies. These acquisitions underscore India's commitment to maintaining a robust and modern military force. With an eye on the future and a firm grip on the present, India continues to fortify its defense capabilities, preparing not just for potential threats, but also for asserting its place on the global stage. In a surprising turn of events, Pakistan, India's long-standing rival, has reportedly made a new acquisition. The latest addition to their naval fleet is a Chinese spy ship. This move could potentially alter the balance of power in the region, creating a new dynamic in the Indian Ocean. But what exactly is a spy ship? A spy ship, also known as an intelligence vessel, is a ship equipped with advanced electronic equipment specifically designed for intercepting communications and signals. Its role is crucial in naval warfare, as it helps in gathering intelligence about enemy movements and activities. Now let's talk about the newly acquired Chinese spy ship. This vessel is known for its state-of-the-art surveillance capabilities. Equipped with advanced radar systems and electronic warfare suites, it is capable of intercepting and decoding a wide range of signals, making it a significant asset in intelligence gathering operations. This ship also has the ability to stay at sea for extended periods, making it an ideal platform for long-term surveillance missions. The acquisition of such a ship by Pakistan could potentially enhance their naval intelligence capabilities, posing a new challenge for India. 
This development underscores the ever-evolving nature of military power dynamics and the need for constant vigilance and adaptation. It also highlights the importance of India's upcoming Gagan Shakti 2024 war drill which will test India's preparedness to counter such advancements. As always, the game of power is in constant flux, with every move having potential ripple effects. Following the news of Pakistan's latest acquisition, it's time to delve deeper into the capabilities of this Chinese spy ship. As mentioned earlier, this vessel is renowned for its state-of-the-art surveillance capabilities. But what does this mean in practical terms? Firstly, the ship's surveillance and intelligence gathering capabilities are truly formidable. It's equipped with advanced radar systems and electronic warfare suites, capable of intercepting a wide range of signals. It can accurately track enemy movements, predict potential attacks, and effectively monitor maritime activities. This could provide Pakistan with a significant advantage in gathering crucial intelligence, a key aspect of modern warfare. Secondly, let's talk about its defensive and offensive capabilities. The ship is not just about surveillance. It's also armed with stealth technology, making it difficult for enemy radars to detect. This allows the ship to operate undetected in hostile waters. The ship also has the ability to launch missiles, making it a formidable adversary in a conflict scenario. Finally, how might this ship be used in a potential conflict scenario? With its advanced surveillance and stealth capabilities, the ship could be used to monitor enemy activities, gather intelligence, and even launch surprise attacks. It could also serve as a command center, coordinating naval operations and providing real-time information to other units. In conclusion, the acquisition of this ship could give Pakistan a significant edge in naval warfare. It's a game-changer, potentially altering the balance of power in the Indian Ocean. This development underlines the importance of India's military preparedness and the need for constant vigilance and adaptation. It also sets the stage for the upcoming Gagan Shakti 2024 war drill where India will test its ability to counter such advancements. As always, the game of power is in constant flux with every move having potential ripple effects. In the wake of this development, one might ask, so what does this mean for India? This new acquisition by Pakistan poses a potential threat to India's naval security and dominance in the Indian Ocean. The spy ship's advanced surveillance capabilities could potentially disrupt India's naval operations, while its stealth technology and missile launching capabilities could be used to launch surprise attacks. How could India respond to this new development? India has always shown resilience and adaptability in the face of new challenges. In response, India could bolster its own surveillance and intelligence gathering capabilities. The Indian Navy could invest in advanced anti-submarine warfare and electronic warfare suites. Additionally, India could increase its naval presence in the Indian Ocean, a move that would serve as a deterrent to potential adversaries. This development could also have implications for India's military strategy and preparations for Gagan Shakti 2024. It underscores the need for India to continue investing in modern military equipment and technology, as well as training its personnel to operate in a rapidly evolving battlefield. India's military exercises will need to incorporate scenarios that account for the advanced capabilities of potential adversaries. This could involve simulations that test India's ability to detect stealth ships, counter electronic warfare, and respond to surprise attacks. While this development is concerning, it's important to remember that India's military is well prepared to face any potential threats. The country's strategic thinkers, military planners and soldiers have proven time and again their ability to adapt and respond to new challenges. With continued investment in modern military technology and training, India will continue to be a formidable force in the region. The game of power continues but rest assured, India is well equipped to play. As we've seen, India's military strategy and capabilities have come a long way since Operation Falcon, a journey that began with the strategic brilliance of General Krishna Swami Sundarji, who used proactive deterrence to counter Chinese incursions in the late 80s. Operation Falcon was a testament to this, showcasing the Indian Army's ability to airlift troops, artillery and ammunition to strategic locations, compelling the Chinese to retreat. Fast forward to the present day, India's military exercises have evolved dramatically. They've moved from purely defensive posturing to assertive capability augmentation. This shift is clearly reflected in the upcoming Gagan Shakti 2024 war drills. These exercises will test India's ability to combat potential threats from both Pakistan and China simultaneously. It's a show of strength, demonstrating India's readiness to defend its sovereignty. 
Gagan Shakti 2024 will involve extensive air fleet activation and integrated warfighting strategies with the Indian Army and Navy. The focus on network-centric operations and inclusion of swarm drones is a nod to the changing face of warfare in the 21st century. India's modern military acquisitions play a crucial role in these exercises. The addition of cutting-edge assets like Rafales, LCA Tejas, and advanced missile systems has significantly enhanced the Indian Air Force's firepower. It's clear that India is investing heavily in its defense capabilities to ensure it remains a formidable force on the global stage. To sum it up, India's military prowess has grown exponentially over the years. From the strategic acumen displayed during Operation Falcon, to the assertive capabilities showcased in the upcoming Gagan Shakti 2024, India has proven its readiness to tackle any potential threats to its sovereignty. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful military content.